welcome back to Let's Cook. Today we are going to do pancake art part two. So we already did part one, which was all the basic stuff, and we did a few very simple pancake designs. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check that out up here in the iCard, or you can go to our basic page and you can look at it there. So today we are going to do a bit more fun designs. So as you can see here next to me, I have a lot more colors. Before we only worked with two colors, now we have ten colors to work with. So our designs are going to be a little bit more creative, and in a way this will actually be easier because I don't have to wait for the colors to be darkening from the heat, but I can just have different colors already ready for me. So we are going to get started and follow along. I hope you enjoy. So here is our first pancake, which is the three daisies. So for my pancakes, I wanted to do three different colors just to make a bit more variety. You can do all the same color if you want, that's fine. So I decided to go with blue, white, and orange for my flowers, just because I think those colors look really nice together. I do regret doing the white second. And the reason is the white color, the regular undyed pancake batter, it turns brown faster than the ones with color in them. So if I had done the white at the end, the flower would have been a little bit more white at the end of the pancake. But that's okay, it still tasted really good. So that's okay. I think it came out really pretty. What do you guys think?
Ta-da! Here's our second pancake. So it's just another kind of flower. We've got a cherry blossom shape. And I think the one with the black in the middle, if you added a yellow center, could actually look like the Korean traditional flower, mugunghwa, which I think would be really pretty. But for this, I think because we don't have the yellow in the middle, it looks a lot more like a cherry blossom. So you can kind of change the design a little bit if you want to make a different style of flower. Traditionally, both mugunghwa and cherry blossoms are pink, so that's why I decided to go with pink, but you can make it any color you want. You can design a different kind of cherry blossom that doesn't exist, or you could make a white one as well. So have fun with this. I hope you guys try this design out. pancakes. So we've got some grapes, an orange, a banana, and a strawberry. Although the strawberry kind of looks a little bit like a tomato. <laughs> so for the fruit pancakes, you can decide to make any fruit you want, but I do recommend picking something with brighter or bolder colors. If you try to do something like a peach, which has really pastel pale colors, it can be really hard to make it look right because the pancake batter will start to brown as it cooks. So these darker colors or these brighter colors for these fruit works a lot better. What's your favorite kind of fruit? I hope you guys make some really cute fruit designs for your pancakes. Our rainbow pancake. So for this pancake I recommend that you try to wait to do the clouds as late as possible because the longer the clouds are cooking the browner it'll become. So you want to put them on and just the second they're cooked enough you want to flip them right away. Mine I think I cooked them a little bit too long they're a little bit brown but that's okay we can make mistakes it's okay. For the rainbow part, I recommend starting from the bottom, like I started at the purple, and then moving up to the top. If you start with the top, you can find out that you run out of space for all of your colors. So it's better to start from the bottom and work your way up. 
So this is our rainbow pancake. I hope you really like it. I had a lot of fun using all of our colors here. So for this pancake, I tried making our beautiful Songdonggu logo, which I think really works nicely for the pancake design because it is a beautiful rainbow color. I had a lot of fun trying to get all of the district shapes correctly. I know some of them aren't perfect, but I think it came out pretty well. Do you live in Songdonggu? Can you find your district? I hope you guys had fun doing this. If you try out this logo, I will warn you, it is really hard to do. It's not easy to draw, so good luck. <laughs> here we have our finished designs I hope you guys had fun today let's go over really quick what we went through so I did some pretty different colored daisies that was our first one the next one so we've got a cherry blossom here and this could either be a cherry blossom or it could be the national flower of Korea the mugungha and we also have some fruit so we've got our grapes and our strawberry which kind of looks like a tomato sorry <laughs> And we've also got our orange and our banana. I really think the banana looks really cool because of the way it cooked. It kind of looks like it's ripening. And last but not least, we have our big, big rainbow. This one was really hard to flip because it's so big. So keep that in mind as you're making yours. If you make them really big, you probably will need two spatulas. Um, or you could ask somebody to help and you could get even four spatulas to flip it. But this one was really hard. As you can see, I almost lost my little cloud here. So the bigger it is, the harder it will be to flip. So none of these are perfect. I made mistakes. In fact, I have a few that you didn't see here because they didn't come out well, so I just got rid of them. So if yours isn't perfect, don't worry, it's going to be okay. You can try again, and I'm sure you will get a beautiful result at the end. So please, 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 if you do this, I would love to see your pictures. So please go to our homepage, and you can send them to us in the Chamyohugi section so that we can see how they came out. So I hope to see your pictures soon, and have a lovely day.